If you're a Christian, where are you? Where are you living right now? Well, it says in the Bible that you are seated with Christ in heavenly places. Let's think about that for a second. First of all, I'm in beautiful South Carolina for a week. This is Greer, close to Greenville. Beautiful area of the country. Nice, cool, birds chirping. Lovely area. Now, you are seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Let me tell you this. When Christ was raised from the dead, he was raised far above all principalities and powers and every name that is named. And he was seated to the highest place up on the throne of God, up in heaven. As I've taught you before, the Christian life is about what happened to Christ happened to you. I give you the example of the book. And I don't have a book here. But that you were placed inside the book. You're a piece of paper that were placed inside the, the, the book. The book is Jesus. And the piece of paper is you. If the book is thrown down, you're thrown down because you're in the book. If the book is picked up, you're picked up because you're in the book. Now, when Christ was raised from the dead and made to sit in the highest place up in heaven on the throne of God, at the right hand of God, where were you? Because you are in Christ, you are now seated with him in the highest place up in heaven on his throne. This is the key to the Christian life. It says in Ephesians 1 that Christ was raised up by, by the power of God to sit up on, on the throne of God. It says far above all principality and power, far above every name that is named in heaven, on earth, and below the earth. And you're seated with them. That means that the devil cannot touch you because you're seated in heavenly places far above far above all the work of the devil sickness cannot touch you because you're seated far above everything that is named in heaven and on earth and below the earth the problem why all these things hit us is because we don't understand our position we don't understand where we're seated the key to the christian life is this if you're seated if your position if you're seated up in the highest place in heaven Where's everything else? Everything else is below you. Sickness is below you. Satan is below you. Circumstances are below you. The problem why these things hit us is because we don't see ourselves seated up there. When you're seated up in heavenly places, what do you do? Everything is below you, so you look down at everything. You look down at everything, and you command everything. In other words, you're in the, in the position of a king, and everything is below you. So your whole life is one of authority, is one of commanding. If you see sickness, you say, sickness, you cannot touch me because you're far below me, and I rebuke you, and I command you to get away from me. If the devil tries to hit you, you say, uh, 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 devil, I am, you know, I am far above you, and I rebuke you because you're below me. And then it says that Christ, after he was raised up from the dead, Everything is subjected or submitted underneath his feet. Amazing. Not only is Christ seated up in heavenly places, but everything is subjected under his feet. And everything is subjected under your feet. So here, so, so, so the bottom line is this. You've been raised up with Christ. You're seated up in heavenly places. Everything is below you. So you have to look at everything from the place of heaven and command everything down here to happen for you and on top of that everything has been subjected underneath your feet what a place of authority i guarantee you when you start to function in your life seeing yourself as seated up in the highest place with christ and everything below you and you start seeing your life as one of commanding and ruling and you see your life as everything sub subjected under your feet Everything will dramatically change for you in the name of Jesus. My friends, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.